The National Diabetes Prevention Program, Diabetes Prevention Recognition Program, Understanding and Managing Sequences. Presentation Objectives. The objective of this presentation is to provide CDC recognized organizations with a detailed explanation of how participants are evaluated according to when they start the National DPP Lifestyle Change Program. We will define and explain the concept of the sequence. It is important that organizations fully understand sequences to understand the evaluations that will be performed and reflected on the evaluation reports they will receive once data has been submitted. Having full understanding of how sequences impact evaluations and outcomes will allow you to understand the reports you receive. Data submission timeline. Once your organization has been fully approved, CDC will send you a data submission timeline specific to your organization. There are two dates that are important to your organization. The first is your approval date. The approval date is the date that your application was approved and the date that you can start holding classes. Your effective date is the first day of the month following the approval date. The month of your effective date will set your data submission timeline. Each organization will submit data every six months starting from the effective date. Defining the sequence part one. The periods between data submissions are referred to as sequences. The one exception to this is the period between the approval and effective dates. This period is called sequence zero. No data submission is made at the start of sequence one, which is the month of the effective date. Defining a sequence part two. Sequences are used to determine when a participant cohort will be evaluated. All cohorts that start within the same sequence will be evaluated together. This could be a single cohort or it could be multiple cohorts. Cohorts and the participants in these cohorts will never change sequences. Sequence assignment has nothing to do with the participant's progress through the program. To effectively track your organization's progress towards advancing in recognition, you should carefully track the progress of each cohort to determine who will be eligible for evaluation. Evaluation process, cohort timeline for participant evaluation. This timeline is an example of who will be evaluated at the time the organization makes its required data submission. Evaluations are performed on participants enrolled in cohorts where the cohort's first session date is at least one year, but not more than 18 months before the submission due date. We do not evaluate anyone who has already been evaluated. If you look at the 12 month point on the submission timeline, the point where sequence two submission is made, you see that this is the first possibility for an evaluation. This will only be possible if at least one cohort held its first session after your approval date, but before your effective date, sequence zero. It is denoted here by the red sequence zero. We will talk in more detail about sequence zero in a moment. Continuing with this example, you can see that at the 18 month sequence three submission point in your timeline, we will evaluate participants who begin the program in sequence one. At the 24 month sequence four submission point in your timeline, we will evaluate participants who began the program in sequence two. This process continues every six months. Sequence zero evaluations. Let's go over the sequence zero evaluation in more detail. As previously stated, sequence zero is the period between an organization's approval and effective date. We will only perform an evaluation at the 12 month point in the timeline if it benefits the organization. That is, if there are at least five completers associated with the sequence. If the organization has less than five completers associated with the sequence zero, 
then these participants will be added to the sequence one participants who will be evaluated at the 18 month sequence three point in the timeline. A completer is a participant who attended at least eight sessions in the first six months and whose time in the first session attended to the last session attended was at least nine months. Sequence impact on participants. Organizations are not required to have evaluations every six months. However, they are still expected to submit data every six months. We understand that not all organizations are able to start new cohorts more than once a year. This point emphasizes the importance of tracking cohort start dates. It also enables you to understand the progress and evaluation reports you will receive. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for participating in the Diabetes Prevention Recognition Program.